Good morning, everyone. I'm back with my send of the day, and today it's uh, one I just picked up at the rack store about a week ago, two weeks ago. It was on one of my sniffer rates, the one with my sister and uh, when she was here. And it's that one that was real cheap, actually. It's, uh, you know, inexpensive. It was $9.99 at a Burlington. And, uh, you know, I, I don't, I wouldn't normally pick up something I don't know uh, the name of and uh, at that price. Uh, but this one, I, I looked at the notes. I was like, I pretty simple notes. And, um, but then I saw like the, the rating on it. It had a pretty good rating. And I was like, hmm, didn't have many votes, but it had a pretty good rating. Um, and I thought about the notes. I thought, well, that's that, something that's real simple. The notes were just grapefruit, uh, mandarin orange, mint, saffron. So it was, it was the two citruses up top, the mint saffron in the middle. And then at the bottom, it was just vanilla and patchouli. And when I got it home and sprayed it on paper, it lasts a long time. On skin, I don't think it's going to last that. It has. I, I've sprayed it, you know, more than I normally would. And it's not really projecting in there. It's actually a, a really nice vanilla with a hint of all that other stuff. Uh, when, I came, when I came into the room, um, Mrs. Fritz smelled it. She gave it an eight. She wanted to smell my arm again. And she's like, hmm. I don't know what it is. And then she said, it smells like a cake. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's, that's actually what I'm getting at. It's, it has like a cakey smell. Uh, you know, maybe a little lemon zest in there or, or some type of citrus zest. Maybe the mint's coming up there. Maybe the patchouli's coming up there. But it's more like a good vanilla smell. And um, I actually like it. I'm, this is a really a gem for me. And what's funny about that is when I did get home uh, and I did look it up, I was looking up trying to find reviews because I'm not a reviewer. So I want to hear what the professionals say about it. And the only one I could, uh, that I could find was uh, Sebastian Jarrett, the perfume guy. And Sebastian, um, he had it on like something like a great inexpensive perfumes or something like that. And I think he has one that says sold out too. There's a, he's in two of them. And uh, he was really excited that it was only $13.99 wherever he bought it. And he bought backup bottles where he found it. And, uh, and I got this for $9.99 at Burlington. And it was just one of them in there. But if there's another one, I will pick that up. It will be in my hands. Because I'd like to have one back there unboxed uh, or, or un, unopened. Um, and, 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 and there's a reason for that, because when you do look this up, um, you know, on eBay, it's, it fetches a little more than the $9.99. Not that I would resell it, but I would like to have it back there just as a backup bottle. Um, and, and so to me, this is one I actually could wear a lot more too, because, because it's not a beast. It doesn't seem to really project and all of that. And I don't know anything about projections, sillage, uh, longevity. I, that's not what my ratings are. I don't really rate. Uh, when I give a number and I say, oh, it's an eight to me or a seven to me, all that means is how I compare it to my other fragrances that I have. So an eight would be really good. It would be at the top level of ones that I have. And, you know, I don't really rarely go below a six. And that would still be great because anything I have, I like. I, I have it, so I like it. Um, I get asked that question a lot, and I'm sure a lot of people do. Uh, even by people not, not not in fragrance community, like friends of mine know I collect, and they're like, did you ever get something, because they know I blind buy, did you ever get something you really hated and didn't like? And yeah, I did. I, I got something that shocked me, you know, the first time I wore Craze, which is a Pegasus clone, um, you know, I thought I was going to crash my car, but I oversprayed that. And then I went in and I got a uh, sample of Pegasus, and I walked around a store with that, and then I ended up buying a decant. Of Pegasus, and now I love Craze and Pegasus. So even if I have an initial reaction that I don't like one of these fragrances, I know it can grow on me. Just as some I back there that I did like initially, um, now when I wear them, they're not. They're, I don't like them as much, you know. Um, so that you know, that's that's the whole thing of fragrances. They 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 your 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 nose changes. What you what you like, you know, may change as as, as you're into this longer. And, you know, I'm, I'm in it now like two, two and a half years of, of wearing a fragrance every day. Um, but again, I'm not a reviewer or anything like that. So that's the scent of the day. It's uh, Rocco Barocco. And I found out that's a female fashion house in Italy. 
Um, and I think they're more known for female uh, fragrances than male. So uh, really it's a real, this is a real gem when you think about it. You know, if, if, if uh, Sebastian got it for $13.99 on some online discounter and I got it for $9.99, it, it's worth that price for sure. And, and I would pay, I would pay 50 or something for this, maybe 60. Because for me, like I said, it, it's one I would want to have just because it, it doesn't push off and it's not offensive and it smells really nice. So with that, please pray, pray, pray for peace in the world and uh, please help me remember to be kind uh, to people. I have to remember that every day. And uh, have a nice day and I'll see you tomorrow.